Police searched White Rock Lake once again for a missing mother from Grand Prairie, but still have not found her. The search intensified after the body of Welton Garcia's husband was found there yesterday. The couple disappeared nearly two weeks ago. Around the same time, police issued an arrest warrant for Garcia's husband for domestic violence. Fox 4's Allison Harris is at the lake tonight with the update. Allison. Heather, the missing woman's phone pinged here. Hernandez's car was found here, and then yesterday his body was recovered here. People searched here today for any sign of Garcia. We were confused then, and we're more confused now. 26 year old Adzili Garcia's identical twin sister, Weltson Garcia, is still missing after her husband and father of her two children, 28 year old Alfonso Hernandez, was found in White Rock Lake Sunday, two weeks after his car was discovered nearby. Investigators say he was fully clothed with no signs of trauma. The couple had been missing for more than two weeks since February 5th, a week after Garcia pressed charges against him for assault. We know that he has some kind of anger management issues, but nothing on the physical. Adzili Garcia says she was the one who called police where they all live in Grand Prairie to report her sister's black eye. She says she was not aware of any abuse before that in their entire six year relationship. We're just kind of surprised. This is so hard to understand and to process. Monday, Texas Parks and Wildlife and Dallas Police returned to the west side of White Rock Lake using metal detectors to search for a weapon, sonar technology to map the bottom of the lake for divers, and Dallas Police. Police Air One to scan the entire area from above. Still, no sign of the missing mother of two. The couple's six year old and three year old are now with their aunt. Adzili Garcia believes her other half is alive. I think she's sad because I can feel it. I mean, it's a twin sister, you know, feel, and I know she's been crying a lot. The medical examiner told us today that Hernandez's cause of death is waiting on the results of a toxicology report, which could take 12 weeks. Dive teams will not be out back out here tomorrow. Heather. All right, Allison, live. Thank you.